Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Calm winds out there right now. We have a dew point value that's still pretty high at 74 with an air temperature warm at 77. We have lost a degree over the course of the last hour, but still 77 degrees. It's pretty warm start to the day and it'll end up being a pretty warm afternoon as we develop a lot of heating during the morning hours because I think we're going to see a fair amount of sunshine mixed with some fair weather clouds. 76 degrees in Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaka, Parrish at 75, 76 in Bradenton, 77 Lakewood Ranch, Northport at 77, 76 degrees in Punta Gorda, 77 in Sarasota, 79 Venice, Inglewood at 78 and Longboat Key, the warm spot coming in at 81 degrees. So we don't have a lot of rain showers across our region currently. The rain showers are really along a line that stretches from the mid-Atlantic out into the northern Gulf waters way back to Texas. That is a combination of a surface frontal boundary that has stalled out and a trough of low pressure in the upper atmosphere that exists along the eastern seaboard. Now that is going to help to stabilize our atmosphere today and help produce uh, another good chance of rain showers. We had a, a, a pretty good coverage yesterday in inland areas, mostly. Along the coastline, you're probably saying, what's he talking about? I didn't see much rainfall around here. And that's true. Along the coast, we have not seen a lot of rain. That's about to change. And the reason for that is this frontal boundary that's kind of meandering across the deep south and through parts of the uh, Florida Peninsula and off up into the mid-Atlantic, is about to fall apart and this high pressure ridge located just to our north is going to sink southward and also migrate a little bit to the east. As that happens, our winds are going to shift around as that front kind of decays away. When our winds shift to a more easterly direction, what that will do will be to take those showers that develop in inland areas and push them back to the coast. And so as we head into, well, really the weekend, into and through the weekend, into the beginning of next week, we'll start to see better rain coverage along the immediate coastline. So the pattern today is going to be very similar to yesterday. If you get rain showers along the coast, it'll be during probably the, the noon time hour into the very early afternoon, and then everything will shift into inland areas. So the drive home tonight will not feature much rainfall along the coast. The east wind will start to build as that high migrates south and that front decays away. When that happens, we'll start to see the weather change tomorrow that'll feature those thunderstorms moving in the opposite direction back toward the coastline. That means more rain for everyone. Watch the RPM computer model forecast. Showers build inland, move to the other coast. And then tomorrow, the showers build inland and move toward our coast. And so that'll be a pattern change that'll take us right into the weekend and feature really good rain chances. 50 or 60% rain coverage across our entire area right straight into the weekend. So we'll watch for that and we'll remember our lightning safety tips as there'll be a lot of people out of doors celebrating, of course, the offshore Grand Prix and such as we head into the weekend. Just remember, late day thunderstorms along the coast are going to be a good bet. We have uh, probably the best chance of rainfall producing heavy rainfall on the other coast today. As I said, that will probably shift toward our coast as we head into the midweek period. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all those days will feature a 50 to 60% chance of rainfall late in the day along the coastline. Back to you.